Now, in the face of growing concern and calls to proceed with caution, Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Philip Davis, as well as several of his cabinet colleagues, have issued repeated assurances that RCI's review process was still underway. Atlantis' CEO has, however, vowed to follow that process closely and even went as far as to encourage others to do the same and, if need be, contribute to the public dialogue. Meantime, the Department of Inland Revenue continuing to clamp down on those business owners who failed to pay outstanding taxes. Case in point, two Harbor Island businesses had their golf carts, boats, and other goods seized after failing to report their declarations and value-added taxes accurately. Taxes owed are in excess of more than $1.3 million. Financial Secretary Simon Wilson gave ZNS News an update on the progress being made to get these businesses out the red. The power of, of, of seizure, and we exercise that. Um, the businesses are now fully cooperating with us and having some discussions. And so we've returned their goods, and we expect those businesses to be in compliance in a short period of time.